is your former home ground, not this is a really decent game, but you started playing again, this is where you sort of was singing. How was it that game for that? Apart from your three tries. Yeah, uh, <clears throat> I think it's always good to be back here. Of course, I did play some couple of um, rugby year, kind of like six months. You know. um, yeah, it's always good to be back here, seeing people coming out there, seven, seven, ten, seven, 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 seven. Um, it was very nice. I think the beginning of the week was all over. It 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 was It was amazing. I think um, I think it was all over. It was all over. It was all over. It was all over. It was all I was very happy to see that I was in the same place. 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 I was in the same from you, what did you learn from today's match? Yeah, I think there's a lot of good things that we did outside there. And as coach uh, did tell us uh, during the week, the preparation, and also at the same time, I think also the discipline also we need to learn, because we did get some um, two yellow cards and also the red card at the same time. So it's something that we need to go back to the drawing board to talk about that. I think it is something that has been happening for us, I think, three games in a row, or if not two games. So it's something that we need to work on on that. Of course, we did some good, like, running up on the outside there. Thank you. Uh, you guys had to put in a real shift out there today. Uh, can you tell me just about your experience uh, having a first test of test rugby at home? Yeah, that's a wrong one, Oh, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, very, very good experience, uh, emotional experience for me as well with my family, very special. Uh, yeah, for me personally, it was an amazing opportunity and, you know, I just, I played. Before my father passed away, I made a promise that uh, I will do this for him one day and, yeah, today I could fulfill that promise and, yeah, flipping amazing opportunity and, yeah, just an amazing moment, an emotional moment. Yeah, it's I was in the house. I was in the house. I was in the house. I was in the I was in the I think in the I was in the house. I was in the I was in the I was but then in the end, uh, since Kalagom I think Yona in the sort of in Kutas uh, and also Lennon is trying to find the honest to go on this as by doing the right and doing the wrong in the end of uh, going back to try and vote and then try to pass and just chuck it in the end of Uba and no improve up Uba. It's in the mistake and that's it. I think Yona Yon didn't bang it, but I'm sure they came in for long. Two minutes into the game, we had the unfortunate incident. This is heritage to any of you. Did you think that um, having minus one player on the field is going to impact your game anyhow? Did it uh, wreck any nerves? Uh, I was a bit nervous at the start because they they played really well at the start. They played well the whole game, but <clears throat> it was when they scored their first try, and I was jogging back, I was very tired. <laughs> Uh, there was a moment where I was like, Yo, you know, we go, really have to play, we have to step it up. So um, there was a bit of nerves, but I think we handled it well. And when we had the opportunities, we had a couple of lineups after that where we mauled well. And uh, the momentum came back our way. So I think we handled it very well when, when we had to play with one, one player less. Yeah. Um, this will Ben Jason and Rob. Um, are you guys coming into to the box squad now? I mean, you're coming into the squad with double World Cup winners. Guys who literally will probably be seen as legends of the game in a couple of years' time when they retire. Um, that must be um, quite, in, in, quite daunting for you guys to come in and start pushing these guys. 
So maybe it takes through the mindset of, of a player that comes into the side like that and it starts to challenge these guys. I know you play with some of them maybe at provincial level, but um, just is that daunting as all for you guys? Um, I'd say for me, I think it's it's amazing to be able to learn from these guys. Um, in our environment, it's it almost feels like you can go and you can ask anyone anytime, and they will tell you. And yeah, so I don't I wouldn't say it's daunting as much as a privilege to be able to learn and see how they did it, what they did, and just be able to lift your game, to become a better player um, by the players around you. Yeah, <clears throat> so I think. Coming into the group, it, it, they were very welcoming, the senior guys. So it was actually a very pleasant experience um, slotting into the group. Obviously, like they still need to get to know you. A lot of the, a lot of those legends, as you said, and and um, it takes a while to form those connections and those friendships in the team. But they've been super friendly and accommodating, and like Ron said, they help you along. I think in training, it's like where the young guys push it. We really want to work hard, we train hard, but then something that, that we really le learn from the senior guys is how they take the message, messaging in the week and they really like perform on a week weekend. Um, and that's like a really special thing, you know, that, that this group has and, and I'm just trying to learn more and more about that. How they, how they like really just, you know, they take what we, we spoke about and they, and they do it, they implement it. <coughs> Uh, yeah, I think it's a, it's a great opportunity, first of all, to play to play for South Africa. With all that you look at, it's a great opportunity to show you how you can do it and how you can do it. We have now a chance to get the chance Waar ons van het laatste week Ierland gespeeld het afgekregen en ons het de kans gekregen te wijs wat ons kan doen en ja, je moet maar net al die kans of wat ze hier krijgen. Oké. Okay. Um, congratulations Ron. Uh, if I can just take you back a year ago, say watching the Springboks win the World Cup, how far away from the Springboks did you think you were then and maybe even at the start of this year, I mean how, how much of a <coughs> surprise has this been for you and then if I can also just ask Ben Jason because you made your debut against Wales, and they always say your debut test. You only remember sort of five minutes of it. Um, so, how was, how was the? Did you remember more of this game, the second game? Yeah, um, I think if you also told me two weeks ago, I would have never believed you. Um, it, it came as a massive surprise to me, and a, a very good surprise. But yeah, it's amazing <coughs> feeling to be able to play for South Africa. Uh, 100 percent. I think that that first time I sang the anthem was a big moment for me. Um, but like you said, uh, the second test was uh, there was lots of memorable moments, and I, I think it will be um, more difficult to forget. I really enjoyed this test, and and getting the start was also special. My uh, peeps, a hat trick today for you. Congratulations! Four for the all time. Is uh, it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Jacques me and, and Blake, you are from the best days and not too far. So, uh, I, I don't know if you thought about that. Brian and Vanessa did a bit of a business, but I don't know if, if you've thought about um, climbing up the, uh, the list. Yeah, I think it's a something that uh, I can't control that. Um, I think my focus now it's more with the small things that people can see and, and it's only coaches that can see that. I think scoring your tries is something that I've been doing since back in the days in Porter. So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a good thing man, at the same time, it, sometimes it does get worried because people want me to score and there's a lot of pressure, especially when you see those numbers there. And people pushing that I want that I can like break some record at the same time. So I try to put that focus on the other side so I can focus in my game, make sure that I do the things that coach they are told me I must do it in the fall. So I'm not really worried about that. I think it's something that happen in the game, it depends on the game, how the game is flowing. 
and also it's the opportunity for me to finish at the same time and also thanks to my teammate that can trade those opportunities for me. I think it's not only about me, it's only about the team. <coughs> Yeah, I think it's not more about Corey Strauss. I think, as I said, it's a little bit of things that I, I need to do with in the field. And also, to finish, it's, it's everyone's job as a winger. It doesn't matter if you're the winger or if you fly off, something like that. If you see the opportunity in front of you, you can take it anytime. But it's a good thing to score tries at the same time, breaking those records that has been there. But it's not my focus on me. It is something that I can't control. But if it does happen, I think God will be on my side. Uh, last question, Tony. Um, well, how proud do you think your father will be to see you for a talented boxer? I would be very proud. Um, yeah, you obviously wish you could see it. Um, but that's not the way God intended. But yeah, I am very proud. Cool. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.